Hey, how's it going? So yesterday I just started training construction and I got level 81, which is pretty nice. And through guess and check, I figured out a good way, which might even be the best way to set up your camera and screen when you're building oak dungeon doors. And I wanted to share that with you today. So let's head over to the house now. Uh, the first thing you're gonna want is a client that can zoom in. Uh, I use the free version of OS Buddy, but I'm not sure if Conduit or other clients allow you to do this as well. And then to start building oak dungeon doors, you're going to need 74 construction and a dungeon. And I would also highly recommend having a servant's money bag to save an extra inventory space and save time. Also, you should have a bell pull in your house, and I will explain why in just a minute. So first, go into building mode and then switch your screen into resizable. And now, because you have the bell pull, you can go into your house settings and press call servant to bring him over to grab your planks. So if you're using OS Buddy, this is what you gotta do. So open up the settings in the top right corner of the client and click on the utility tab. And then from there, go to where it says camera zoom and open up the settings for that. In that menu, you're gonna see an option to remove the zoom cap and you need to turn that option on. And when you go back to the game, you'll find that you could zoom in more than you normally can. Now you're gonna make the screen slightly wider than normal. So expand the screen horizontally so that you can see the door in between the report and the clan button. The reason we do all of this is so that you don't have to move the mouse to build and remove the door. So place the mouse kind of where the top edge of the report button is. And when you right click it, the mouse should be right on top of the remove or build option. Personally, I don't use screen markers, but they can be a great tool to help you out with this so you know where to put your mouse whenever you have to move it away. The next thing to know is that when you do this, you should always hold down one so you don't lose any ticks when you're building, removing, or talking to the servant. Pressing one will select the first option, and luckily everything you need to do on here is the first option. The only time you need to do what I call resetting one, which is just letting go and pressing down on one again, is right after you press the space bar and the only time you press the space bar is right when you send the servant to get the planks other than that one millisecond though where you let go you should always be holding one down now oak dungeon doors aren't the fastest xp for construction uh, generally mahogany tables are considered the fastest xp for a reasonable cost but the opportunity cost of doing mahogany tables is over three mil per hour so if you're like the majority of the player base and can't earn at least three mil per hour then you should probably be building oak dungeon doors from level 74 to 99 Unless, of course, you just absolutely can't stand to train the construction skill, then it may be worth the extra time and money to you. Sometimes if you're going too fast and just take the planks from the servant and start building without sending him away again, he'll just start to walk away. And if that happens, don't waste your time zooming out and running all over the place to catch up with him. All you gotta do is go into the house settings tab and call him over, and you'll save yourself a lot of stress and XP that way. So I decided to keep track of my XP for one hour, and for the first 10 minutes, I was staying around 350k XP per hour, but that was super intense, and it hurt, and I barely missed any ticks during that time. By the 30 minute mark, I was at 330k XP per hour, which is much more sustainable. I was missing ticks and messing up here and there, but I still didn't check my phone or switch YouTube videos or anything like that during that time. So 330k XP per hour is much more doable for the average player who misses ticks occasionally. After that, for the second half of the hour, I would check my phone, look up YouTube videos, and just generally be not completely efficient. And at the end of that hour, I was still averaging over 300k XP an hour. So the XP is super fast. I would say it's comparable to fire making, like at Wintertod, although this is much more click intensive. And when you're training construction, you pretty much have to use the shortcuts with the one and the space bar or else you're not going to be getting such good XP rates. I would like to wish you good luck on your construction. It's an extremely fast skill, and the only thing that usually sets people back is just the cost of it. I just want to say a couple things very quickly. So I've never used Twitter, but my friend told me I should make a RuneScape Twitter, so I did, and it's at the Wild Mudkip because just Wild Mudkip was taken. So I put the link for that in the description and on my channel if you'd like to follow me. And my clan chat Mudkip is always open, so feel free to stop by, say hi, meet some people. If you have any questions or if I missed something, then please leave some feedback for me in the comments. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from me, then please subscribe. It really would mean a lot. It's really hard to explain the rhythm of how it works, and I understand it looks complicated, but once you start doing it, you'll get a feel for it very quickly. So for the last couple minutes of the video, I'll put in some footage of me just training construction with this method with some nice music over it. And I would like to thank you so much for watching the video, and I will see you again tomorrow. Would cry.
Yeah, don't you, don't you, oh.